Hello and welcome to the 65th video in this series of program videos programming an engine in C. So this video we're going to look at the quiescence search which is what we'll be calling from alpha beta and I've already put the call in here in the code instead of returning evaluate to try and find a quiet position from which we can give a reliable score for the position to get rid of a horizon effect. Now the first thing I'd like you to do is on the quiescence definition is already put these changes in. So we've got the assert checkboard, incrementing the nodes, we've got the same as in the alpha beta, our is repetition and, and whether we're going too deep so we need to return the evaluation anyway. And then we're storing inside score already the evaluation of the position and we'll come back to this. And then I have at the end the last bit once we've processed the moves the storing of the PV move. So. Let's go into movegen.c and we need a function that generates just the captures. So I'm going to do this the lazy way and take our generate all moves and just paste it underneath and change its name to generate all caps. It's pretty bad form to do a copy and paste like this, but for an example engine I, I suppose it doesn't matter. And now we need to take out all the code that generates non-captures. So we'll take out the pawns moving forwards and we'll take out the castling code for white and for black also the pawns moving forwards and also the castling code for black can come out. And then simply in our loops here we need to take out the add quiet move calls because we're only adding capture moves to add our captures. And then you want to add this generate all caps definition then into the defs.h wherever you like and we're ready just to generate the capture moves in the position. So let's now go back into search.c. I'll just make this and check that it makes. Okay, these are all problems still inside the quiescence, that's okay. Right, so into quiescent search. It's essentially very similar to alpha beta but we just resolve the captures but there's another interesting part as well and that's here. We get the score for the position before we've even made a move and we now say that if our score is greater than or equal to beta without even making a move, so trying to improve our score, then we can safely return beta and assume that our position's already going to be better than beta because we're not going to make any kind of move that reduces it. So we'll return beta here. Otherwise we can say if our score is greater than alpha then we can set alpha equal to this score. And this is what's known as standing pat. So seeing how you're doing if you don't even make a move. And if you're already better than beta then you're doing pretty well. So now all that remains is to actually do some very similar stuff to in the alpha beta. In fact identical. And that is generate all caps this time, not all moves, or all captures, set up our various variables here and then move on into going through our move loop. The only difference here of course is where there might not be any captures in the position. In that case we just end up returning alpha which we've even adjusted with our score. And if there are we don't do anything to check for checkmate because obviously we're not generating all moves, we're only generating captures. So again, we just end up returning alpha if nothing, no legal moves come out of this capture loop. So inside here what we do need to change however is that call to alpha beta. And we're calling now quiescence, there's no depth and there's also no null move there. And we can take out the updating of our killers because we don't need them inside here and we can take out the updating of our history because we don't need that inside here. Otherwise everything else stays exactly the same as does storing our PV move. And that's all we should need to do for the quiescent search. So if I just call make on this and why isn't it compiled? Redefinition of score. That means it's redefined here. Whoops it is. Yep. So I'll save, we'll reset score to minus infinite now. And I'll just make this again. Okay, and I'll call vice. And now call search with S. And we're searching a lot more nodes than we did previously. 
But what we have got is a much more stable score. We haven't got any of this swinging anymore from plus 100 to minus 100 to plus 100 to minus 100. We've got a much more stable score because the horizon effect is no longer there. And also the move ordering percentages have now dropped a bit to something more around what we'd expect if we got reasonable move ordering, which is 90, around 90%. So I'm not going to do any more testing now, we'll do that when we plug the engine into the GUI and watch it play, but at the moment it seems to say that the horizon effect problem has been mitigated by adding in the quiescent search. And if you want to know a little bit more about the quiescent search, I'd advise going on to the chess programming wiki, just put that into Google, and there's quite a good article describing exactly how and why the quiescent search works and is implemented there. So thanks very much for watching, and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.